you on the Maths Lesson from the Learning Reservoir. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what a HACCP critical control point is. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point, and it's a food safety management system. But what is a CCP? Well, let's look at how you determine a critical control point in a food processing situation. For example, if you are in the business of, in a restaurant and one of the food activities that you're involved in is grilling chicken breasts, there is a flow that you will follow. The first thing would be to receive the ingredients into your restaurant, to store the chicken breasts, to prepare them for cooking, to cook the chicken breasts, to hot hold them so when people come in and perhaps it's a deli counter and you're, you're holding your chicken breast there for your next customer and then you serve it up. So that is the process of grilling chicken breasts. Now we look at it, at it from a food safety point of view, from a HACCP point of view and we want to know what are the critical steps in this process that need to be controlled from a food safety perspective. Well, the question we must ask is, what type of hazards can be found in this process? And one of the main hazards would be a biological hazard. You could have salmonella contamination or campylobacter contamination. These are two types of microorganisms that can contaminate grilled chicken breasts. These must be controlled. But where can they be controlled? The point at which they can be controlled in the process is called a critical control point. And in this process, we have one critical control point identified at the cooking step and the second critical control point identified at the hot holding step. Now, what does this actually mean? What does a CCP mean? Well, it means that it's the last step in a food process where you can intervene to prevent, eliminate, or control the growth of microorganisms or contaminations before the food is served to customers. That's what a CCP is. So if we look at this process, we see that, well, cooking is the last time where you can kill the salmonella or kill the campylobacter. And CCP2 is the step in the process where you're keeping the chicken at a certain temperature that will prevent the growth of salmonella or campylobacter. Because the next step is serving. There's no more cooking of the food. There's no more hot holding. So that is your last chance to control those hazards. And that is why it's a critical control point. Another way of looking at it is it's a point or prop procedure in a food system where loss of control may result in unacceptable health risk. So if we look at this graphic, to a right, we have our control system where our food was cooked correctly. It was, the chicken was held at the correct temperature. It's under control. But if there's a problem there, it all falls apart. To the left, we have contaminated chicken. So a CCP is where you must have control because if you lose control there, the whole food safety system will fall down. There are some common CCPs in the food industry. And I'm going to give you examples of two more, two more CCPs just so to help you understand what a CCP is. If you were to look at the pasteurization of milk, so if you're working in a dairy in a milk processing plant, you pasteurize milk. Well, what is pasteurization? Well, pasteurization is used to make foods like milk safe for consumption. And there are certain steps in that process of pasteurization. The first step is the heating of the liquid, liquid or the milk to a particular temperature. And why do you do this in pasteurization? Well, it's to kill those harmful microorganisms that if they're left in the liquid, they could uh, harm the people consuming that liquid. In our case, milk. And also during pasteurization, you have to cool, rapidly cool the milk to a certain uh, temperature. So that's what pasteurization, it's done in a pasteurizer. So you heat your food to a certain, you heat your liquid or food to a certain temperature and then you rapidly cool it. And depending on what liquid you're dealing with or what food 
you'll have certain parameters you'll be working with. Therefore, pasteurization step is, is a CCP in a dairy because pasteurization is one of the last steps where biological hazards can be controlled, where micro microbes can be killed like bacteria and pathogens. And if they're not at that step, they will cause foodborne illnesses. If you work in a company where there's a filling line, there is a high probability that you have a metal detector. And metal detector and metal detection steps on a filling line is a CCP frequently. So a metal detector is a specialized piece of equipment that is used to check for metal contaminants in juices, for example. So this image is off a apple juice filling line. And metal detectors, depending on what uh, product is being filled, will have a different level of sensitivity and capabilities of detecting uh, different types of metal particles. And the goal is to ensure that the final product is free from metal contaminants, because that would be a potential food safety hazard to our uh, consumer of the product. And that is why metal detector steps would be a CCP typically in a filling line process. So it's the final check where you can prevent metal um, contamination in your product because once it goes past the filling line um, and into the warehouse there there is a high likelihood that the metal there'll be no metal detector out of the warehouse. Now if there is a metal detector in the warehouse checking it in the warehouse that would also be a CCP because that's the last time you're going to check for metal metal in your product and that is why it is a food safety CCP. So to conclude the CCP is a very important step in a food process the critical control point from a food safety point of view it's so so important to have control around that step in your food process flow and think of it as the final check the last time that you can ensure that particular hazard is not in your product, be it biological, physical, um, or chemical hazard. So a CCP is a critical point where action is taken to maintain food safety, and it's the last chance to ensure that the food doesn't pose a health risk to consumers. It can be controlling cooking temperatures, preventing contamination, or eliminating microorganisms all depends on what type of food you're dealing with that concludes this video i hope you found it useful if you do give us a like and please feel free to subscribe to our channel for similar content